to where I came from and being proud of where I'm going. And I encourage each and every, every one of you, young people in this room, do your best. Study. That is one thing nobody can take away from you. Knowledge. But you're the only ones that can gain it too. Gather it. It's yours. Take it. And then share it. You see, Cesar Chavez, he was born just outside of Yuma, Arizona. And they lived on their grandparents' uh, little farm. Unfortunately, the farm was owned by the banks. And this was during, right after the Great Depression. And so the banks came and took their farm away from them. <coughs> so the family became migrants. So Cesar and his family set out on the migrant circuit, as, as my family did, traveling around. Circle, you know, circling around the, the southwest or wherever. And he never got a chance to stay in school for very long. And by the eighth grade, he finally just dropped out of school altogether to help support his family to work. You see. But since I loved education, loved to read, they say that and if you visit uh, La Paz, down in Keene, California, at the, uh, the Cesar Chavez uh, Centro there, they have his office there on display. And there are books from the floor to the ceiling and all the way across. He loved to read. And so, uh, you, you, when I saw that, I said, wow. But I'm a slow reader. And he said, well, so was Cesar. He was a very slow reader, you see. And so, but the thing is that he enjoyed reading. He taught himself, see. So I encourage each and every one of you to do the same. It's too easy to say, eh, tomorrow, dude. Tomorrow's too late. Because by tomorrow, somebody's already created your destiny for you. And you can't let that happen. You need to be responsible for where you're going. Do not blame anybody else. Because you make the choices and if you made the wrong choice, take it. Make another choice, a better one. And don't be too proud to ask for help. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm 55 years old and I still...